In this video, we will be seeing about the triads in surgery. The first triad is Cushing's triad. Cushing's triad is seen in intracranial hypertension. That it is the triad consists of hypertension, bradycardia, and irregular respiration. Then, Bouchard's triad. It is seen in gastric valvulus. It is composed of epigastric pain, inability to vomit, and inability to pause and nasogastric tube. In acute appendicitis, we can see Defloy's triad, Defloy's triad, hypersensitivity of the skin, reflex muscular contraction, and tenderness at McBurney's point. Galicia triad, it is the triad of deuterine contracture, retroperitoneal fibrosis, and pyronous disease of the penis. Hutchison triad, it is seen in congenital syphilis. It composed of Hutchison's teeth, notched upper teeth incisor, intestinal inter, interstitial keratitis of the cornea, nerve deafness. These three constitute the congenital syphilis, Hutchison triad. Meckel's triad. It is seen in Borghev syndrome. It consists of thoracic pain, vomiting and cervical subcutaneous emphysema. What is the quinky triad composed of? It is seen in hemobilia. It composed of three GIT hemorrhage, biliary colic, and jaundice. Regular triad. This is seen in Galston ileus. Composed of small bubble obstruction, pneumobilia, and ectopic gallstones. Saint triad. Hiatus hernia, gallston, and colonic diverticulum. Saint triad. Tillax triad, it is seen in mesenteric cyst. It is a triad of soft flexuant swelling in the umbilical region, freely mobile, perpendicular to that of the mesentery, zone of resonance around the fluctuating swelling. Trotter triad, it is seen in nasopharyngeal carcinoma. It composed of conductive hearing loss, immobility of the homolateral soft palate, and trigeminal neuralgia. Virchow triad, this is seen in thrombosis, increased hypercoagulability, stasis of the blood, and endothelial injury will lead to thrombosis. Purple triad. It is seen in insulinoma, insulin secreting tumors. There will be symptoms of hypoglycemia with serum glucose less than 50 mg per deciliter and symptomatic relief on glucose ingestion.